Well, hello, everybody. My name's Aaron Ciotti. Everybody just calls me Ciotti. You can call me what you'd like. If anybody noticed, there's a little Get FPV logo at the beginning of the stream there. Big thanks to Get FPV. Uh, they are sponsoring tonight's episode with a $50 gift card, which we're going to do a giveaway for in a bit. Um, that's pretty cool. That's uh, that's the first like big actual place to put some faith in me, and uh, that's pretty slick, man. I'm I'm super down with that. A couple of you guys have uh, posted on different places in social media saying like, "Hey, X Y Z manufacturer, you should send something like that to Ciotti FPV for testing." And those guys have reached out to me, so thank you for that. Maybe if you guys keep doing it, they'll keep sending more stuff that I can give away and test and fly and smash and destroy. Two thumbs up from me. All right, tonight we are going to cover a bunch of ground. We're going to do our giveaways, of course. Uh, we'll have some rolling Q&A as usual. Um, we will also talk about some updates to, hopefully, my 3-inch frame that should be coming out in the end of February uh people are texting me okay just making sure that nobody was texting me that the uh mic's not on or i'm upside down or have a nosebleed yeah uh what else i think that's about it cool so uh you know first things first supercell was in here first super what is up haven't seen you in a while mr spat was next, then Mongo FPV, Sabine Sorrell, Yeah Boyd, Ladrule FPV, Mark Emerson, Stephen Rossi, Ian Cumming. Ooh, that's a close one. Mark Emerson, Jimmy McCool Cool is in the house. Jimmy McCool Cool is, uh, I've been talking to him. Actually, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Magic Smoke RC, that's a cool name. M A J I C Smoke. Uh, Crunk is here, Ladrule FPV, Daniel Sarmiento, Chainsaw FPV, Tiago Ramos, Matthew DeHarsh. David Noose in the house, William Clark, Adam Bostwick, Wind of Fire IO, Sharp Pizza FPV, Sterling Youngman, Chainsaw FPV, Snoopy RC, Hildy, Espionage FPV, Adam Butts, but, ah, I took a big breath too. Adam Bostwick, Mur Doc Murdoch, Chainsaw again, Noose again, William Clark, I think maybe again, Yeah Boyd, Parts for Brent Toys, William Clark, Matthew DeHarsh, Wind of Fire IO again, Mark Lilo, Chainsaw FPV again, <laughs> David Noose, Jimmy McCool Cool, Magic Smoke again, MB FPV, Sam Him, Sam Him, all right. Uh, Engage FPV, Parts for Bent Toys, Wind of Fire IO again, Brent Vorschlag, William Clark, Ian Cumming, Ty K, Mark Lilo, I gotta do a better job not reading out the repeats, yeah, Boyd, almost read repeats, <laughs> MB FPV, Daniel Sarmiento again. Brent Vorschlag again, John Larson, Mongo FPV, William Clark, Yannick G, Lycan FPV, Jesse T, Dark Sagan, Yeah Boyd, Adam Bostwick, Krunt, Brent Vorschlag, Colin Pinard, Chris I, Dark Sagan again, Hildy is here, Nathan LaBooth, Nathaniel LaBooth, I should say, William Clark, D Brown, Yannick G, Nosedive, 4130, Doc Murdoch, Brent, Sick Fast is here. Jesse T in the house, MB again, License to Drive is here, Jeff Freestyle FPV, Heldy again, Jimmy McCool, cool, Parts for Bent Toys again, Yannick G, Andrew Hall, I see somebody coming on my right, John Hartman, Mongo FPV, IMAX is watching some movies, Brent Vorschlag again, Sam, just Sam, alright, cool, I'm down, Fail at FPV, <laughs> Fail at FPV, there it is, just getting it out of the way, just Say that it's fail, and then if it's not fail, it's all good. Uh, where'd we go? D Brown, Just Denture. <laughs> just Dentures. Oh, nice. Dusty Stunts FPV, not to be confused with Dusty Nuts. Doc Murdoch, Mark Emerson, Chris I, uh, Jimmy McCool Cool again, William Clark, Cleaner, The Dio, Cement Kid, Weird Beard FPV, William Clark, Urinate <laughs> again tonight. You're innate. Uh, David Sally, Sam Him, Dark Sagan again, Jeff Freestyle, Weird Beard FPV, Kevin Durant. Better get him in. The band. <laughs> there it is. There's the YouTube name for the night. The Bandalorian. Hell yeah, dude. That's a great name. Uh, Killer BRC, 
Jack Fu FPV, Bren the Wizard, you better hurry if you want your name read out, Joe Gray, IMAX, Mex FPV, Justin Cow, woo, Justin Cowie, Cowie, Justin Cowie, Wanna Get Fly, Paletheus FPV, Ken Hill, David Sally, Mex FPV, Brent Vorschlag, everybody's struggling to get it in at the last second, and the Bandalorian will be the last one. Just kidding, Ian coming and urinate again, just because I want to say urinate. So that's a. We should take a vote. Bandalorian or urinate? Joe Saw getting in as the last one, and Joe Gray. All right, so we'll leave it there. Um, CID FPV is on YouTube, Patreon, Instagram, and Facebook. Message me, say hey, ask me questions. Uh, I'm your friendly local micro king, according to Kevin. Um, I just forgot Kevin's last name. According to Stinger Swarm back at uh, Quad Camp Atlanta 2007, 18, oh, whatever. You guys know me. Uh, what else are we doing? We read the chat names. At tag in the chat. If you want me to read your comment, you're going to want to type at Ciotti FPV. What that's going to do is it's going to light your comment up in orange so that I can actually see it. The chat scrolls fast enough where I just can't keep up with everything. So if you have a good uh, question, comment, whatever, string of obscenities, uh, at Ciotti FPV, it'll light me up in orange. You can do that with each other too if you want to talk to one another. Um, at and then whatever their screen name is, uh, will light them up. So do that. Uh, all of you long timers, do me a favor. If you see a good question that needs to be answered, tag me for the person and uh, just do a little dash and then their name so that they get credit for the excellent question that I'm sure they will have asked. Uh, FPV Therapy is a Facebook group that I created about a month or so ago. Um, it's picking up. We have almost 100 people in there, brave, courageous souls willing to share all uh, for the good of the mental health community, the mental illness community. Uh, here comes a link to it. Here comes a screen, screen capture of it. How do I do this? Zoom mic, is that the right one? That's the right one. There it is. Got to get a... Uh, um, a new cover image there. That's just a rando that I grabbed. Um, but yeah, here it is. FPV therapy. If you know anybody and you do, because it's one in 10, if you know anybody or you have mental illness issues yourself, come on in, join us. Let's talk. Let's share. Um, one of the hardest things about mental illness is the stigma around just talking about it. And, um, as someone who struggled with it for a long, long time, I know that all too well, and I am doing all that I possibly can to just be upfront about it, talk about it as much as I can, and this group was something that just kind of popped in my head, and a lot of folks have gotten Doherty, that's his last name, Jesus. Um, yeah, a lot of folks have been digging the group. Like I said, come on over. Here comes a link in the chat. I'll post it 15 times so that you guys don't miss it. Uh, yeah, come on in, say hi, share your story, read some of our stories. Um, even if you don't think you have it, maybe you do ever get really mad at like an inanimate object really quickly and want to smash it. You might have depression. I do that all the time. So yeah, come on over and, uh, and, and learn something. You'll learn something today. I promise if you come on over, uh, affiliate links down there. Oh, let me switch the scene. Affiliate links are down here. Uh, the bit.ly links go to get FPV, my favorite U S um, reseller. Uh, there are some Banggood links in there for the folks that are worldwide, and then there are also some Amazon links in there as well. Um, with affiliate links, you guys probably all know this, but when you hit an affiliate link, it drops a cookie with my info, and then it doesn't even matter what you order. I get credit for that order and make a couple bucks, which I then pour back into all this fun stuff and the giveaways and caring is sharing, FPV is friendship. Uh, so yeah, do that if you can remember. Discord link is down below as well. Uh, for anybody that wants to get on tonight's giveaways, we're gonna do them in about 45 minutes or so. Uh, if you wanna get in on tonight, you can jump over to the Patreon right now. If more than three people do that, there will be a sixth giveaway of an entire complete build with my tune, with all my super secret parts and all that good stuff. So if you wanna get in on tonight's giveaways, jump over to the Patreon. Um, hopefully it's somewhat self-explanatory. Basically the way it's set up is there's a $5 tier. If you want to enter into, um, tiny whoop and toothpick giveaway stuff, there's a $10 tier for, if you want to get in on the three inch brushless, uh, giveaways. And then there's a $20 tier for the five inch, 
uh, giveaways. There's also a $30 tier if you have all the above and you want to get in on all the giveaways. Uh, the folks that have done that have been cleaning up. Um, a couple of those guys are into it for about 60 bucks, and I've almost sent them an entire quad. So <laughs> um, if you have 30 bucks a month, uh, you can probably win a bunch more than that. And of course, you're going to get access to the best Patreon in the world, Ciotti FPVs with all kinds of micro goodness. Um, I've got a whole bunch of articles in there that I've written, how to do the RPM tuning, how to correctly uh, reduce the filtering in there, uh, PID tuning info, you know, the simplest way to get your PID tune locked in, uh, the gear that I use, the gear that I've blown up and sucks and you don't want to waste your money on, uh, all kinds of other fun stuff. Three bucks gets you in the door and then five and up gets you into some giveaways. So whatever you got, three bucks is like 10 cents a day. So if you got a dime a day, you can come on over. Really cool community of folks. We're having a good time over there. Uh, some other stuff, you get linked up with, with my Patreon. Uh, you get special benefits, whatever. All that fun stuff, it's all written down in there. Um, head on over if you're interested and you like what I'm doing. You guys that are already in there, rock. I love you all. It means so much to me that you guys support me. That's kind of where the giveaways came from. Um, after a month-ish of doing this, I was just kind of so moved by the generosity of all these folks that... Um, I just wanted to sort of give back. So I've been basically pushing all the money that comes through Patreon straight from my PayPal account back to get FPV and Pyro Drone and all over the place to buy more stuff for the giveaways. So yeah, fun, fun, fun for everyone. All right, let's jump into a couple comments. Let me scroll all the way up to the top of the chat. I'm going to look for my name in orange, which happens when you type at FPV. That is the only way that I can see your comment. Doc Murdoch said, don't forget to plug the mic in. I didn't tonight. Uh, Dark Sagan saying, what's up? Doc Murdoch, Aaron is in the house. Damn right I am. Uh, all right. Killer B is fashionably late. I can dig it. Uh, Mex FPV saying, what's up? Crunked with a sentence. Here it is. What are your thoughts on those... AUV Blade, six, oh, 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 yep, uh, 1606 Supermans, maybe I should put those on my 5-inch 146-gram toothpick. So, uh, I actually just saw them earlier today, I don't like the KVs, the, the one KV is really, really low, and the other KV is just not quite high enough. Um, if you're going to do a 1606, it should probably be these Emaxes. Um, they're very inexpensive. They have a three millimeter motor shaft, which I doubt, but I'm not sure of. Um, I, but I do doubt that those air blades have a three millimeter motor shaft, um, which is really the deal breaker. Um, a, a two millimeter motor shaft is just not all that durable. Anything above like 200 or so grams all up. Um, so yeah, I would, uh, I would actually go with these, but hey, more motor options is obviously a good thing. And um, if you're not gonna crash, or if you have a very lightweight rig, then maybe the two mil motor shaft that I suspect they have uh, is gonna be okay. So there you go. Uh, what else do we have here? Jesse T asking me to recommend a two inch prop. Jesse T, you came to the right place. What you want is the Emax Avan four blade and the Emax Blur, I wanna say, three blade. Basically, the two Emax two inch props are the ones that you want. They are the most durable, they're the most, uh, they're the best balanced, and the the pitch is also just right. They're, they're low pitch. There, there are some really high pitch two inch options, and it's it just doesn't make any sense. You lose a bunch of throttle resolution, which is insane on a two inch prop rig, because um, they don't have a ton of power, so that just shouldn't be something that happens. Uh, but yeah, both of Emax's two inch prop options are your best bet. Uh, I have tested pretty much all of them. If you go back, three or four weeks, I think. I have a live stream uh, talking about testing all of the three inch props. I believe that's the one where I just went into all the props. Um, I went two inch, two and a half inch, three inch, all the way across the board and kind of broke down all of them. Uh, more info on props over on the Patreon. I've done some like straight up review write-ups, um, X prop versus Y prop, lots of good stuff over there. So enjoy, but the answer to your question, for sure, no questions asked. Emax two-inch props are the jam. Uh, Brent Vorslag also, or Vogelsang, why do I keep saying, oh, Vorslag is a, is a 
motorsports manufacturer. Um, Brent, I'm just going to call you Brent from now on because I can't get your last name right. Brent says uh, that I'm also the quad king. I'm cool with that. I'm down. Uh, then he said micro quad king. Well, that works too, Brent. I'll take any compliments I can get, man. <laughs> Fail at FPV says, glad to resubscribe to Patreon at the th Ooh, big spender over here. At the $30 tier, only two more people. Travis, glad to have you on there, man. Pretty sure you'll win something tonight. Probably again next next Monday night. Hell, maybe even the following Wednesday night if you're going to take after Thomas Bird. Because that guy won every week in a row. I think for a month straight, he hit every single tier from being on... Or, yeah, he hit the $5, $10, and $20 tier. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Max wanted to say that I'm doing awesome things. And I deserve all this coming to you. Keep it coming. Max, thanks for the kind words, man. Really do appreciate it. Um, you guys are the reason that I'm able to fight off the demons in my brain and the dogs barking in my head. Um, you guys give me just the best kicks in the ass and the confidence to do this stuff. And yeah, it's, it's great. And I really do appreciate it. Everybody remember, the chat is saved with the video. I guess it's on this side. So you guys are all here with me, even though the camera is only pointing at my stupid face. Um, you are here. Type good stuff into the chat. It's going to live on forever. These live streams unbelievably get like a thousand plus views after the fact. And so, yeah, you guys are here with me. Talk shit. Say funny things. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Thanks, Max. I do appreciate it, man. Very cool of you. Uh, Brent says, Specs on the Quad in the intro video. That is... Uh, come on. That was my preferred 5-inch rig setup, which is uh, the FPV Cycle uh, Kebab FPV Glide Frame uh, with T-Motor F40 Pro 2s. That is a 2306 motor. Um, and at that time, it was a 2400 kV that I was running on 5S. Um, right at the end of that video, the ESC caught on fire. <laughs> um, that was a problem with the ESC. Uh, that was the DYS 30 amp, uh, 30 by 30 ESC, which was notorious for catching on fire. That was my own stupid fault uh, for thinking that a, a really cheap ESC on clearance would be able to take 5S on mega kV. Um, if you run a real ESC, something like this Akon AK32 35 amp, which by the way, this is the ESC. This is all I will run ever again. Um, this would easily handle that the way that I was flying it. I, I will say you can't hang on the throttle with 5S on 2400 KV for like two, three seconds, no matter what, it's going to catch on fire and burn to the ground. Um, but little throttle blips, uh, a good ESC like this would absolutely handle that. Um, rest of the specs of, of the build aren't really as important, but just for the record, uh, Tramp VTX is in all my gear. Um, at the time I was running a, a, an FR Sky, uh, RXSR. Nowadays I'm running Crossfire Nanos. Um, flight controller is a Talon F7 and I don't remember what the props were. If I had to guess though, the props were probably T-Motor 5143s because they are my favorites. And yeah, I think that's about it. All up weight of right around uh, 600 grams. Uh, that was a 5S 1000 mAh, I want to say, maybe 1050. And uh, yeah, nowadays I'm running 1600 kV T Motor F40 Pro 2s with 6S. Um, and this actually is still on 4S. This is that same rig. These are the 2400 kV motors, um, but I run this on 4S nowadays just so that I have a 4S rig put together in case something comes over for testing. Um, it's nice to have a 4S rig assembled. And I do have five 4S 1300s left. Um, so as I burn them into the ground, at some point I'll probably bail on 4S um, because I do have like a thrown together 4S backup quad over here. So I will have something on 4S. Um, but hey, I got five batteries. Those are the first five batteries that I fly when I get to a spot, warms me up, gets me going. And then when I switch to 6S, the battery sag goes away and the run times damn near double, which is just silly, but true. Um, in fairness, my 4S batteries are much older than my 6S batteries. Uh, thanks for the water, Kristen. All uh, right. 
Awesome shirt, Magic Smoke says. Hey, Magic Smoke, do you know, or anybody for that matter, anybody that knows what this shirt is from, I will send you something. Nobody's going to know it because it's unbelievably obscure. obscure is, yeah, that's the word. Um, but if somebody knows what this shirt's from, and don't cheat, I won't be able to catch you. Uh, I'll send you something cool. <laughs> it's not going to be the shirt, though. Killer BRC just wanted to thank uh, me and everybody in the community for opening their arms to you, um, and it's great, absolutely, Killer B. Open arms from me and all the people in here. To be totally honest with you guys, the, like we have a, a pretty unique community here. Um, I hope you guys all understand that. Like the group of people that has like latched onto this stream is different than a lot of the rest of the FPV community. And it's really, really cool. Um, there's no bullshit. Like, we just don't get... Like, I think we've had, what, one person maybe in the chat that was that was being, like, this much of a jerk, and, and that's been it. So, um, yeah, Killer B, it's not just you realizing that, man. This is a super cool little community that we have carved out for ourselves. And um, that's... I, it's just super cool. Like, I, believe me, I, I don't, it doesn't go unnoticed. I really, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, FPV has gotten him out of his funk of depression and boosted his self-esteem 109.99%. <laughs> awesome, man. Very glad to hear it. Um, I'm pretty sure you're over in the FPV therapy group. If you're not, head on over and uh, let's talk about it, man. Let's, uh, let's bust the shit out of the stigma and... Let's get better, as Niles Crane says, on Fraser at some point. All uh, right, we're almost caught up. What else do we have? Just, uh, where'd it go? There it is. Just Denture is asking if I've seen the new H7 SP Racing 400 mil, uh, megahertz extreme dual gyro FC. Just got his in the mail. Um, I have seen, I, I guess that's the one. I saw one H7 flight controller, and I'm assuming that was the one. Um, H7 is pretty exciting because I want to say H7 is twice as fast as F7, which is just banana pants. Um, kind of useless right now, if I'm totally honest. Uh, but in terms of future-proofing yourself, awesome. I mean, that's a rig that you're going to put that in that if you don't blow it up, that flight control will probably be good for at least another year, which in this hobby is insane. Um, maybe even beyond that. So yeah, man, that's awesome. Uh, good stuff. Let me know how it is. The dual gyro thing, I, I, I don't know. I, jury's still out. Um, from what the Betaflight back, black box guys say, um, they haven't found an advantage of it yet, but it's absolutely brand new. You know, two weeks from now, there might be a, a, a breakthrough and those dual gyro FCs might be the best thing since sliced bread. Um, I don't know. It's it's very it's it's really interesting. Um, I don't understand rotating them ninety degrees. I feel like rotating them forty five degrees would make more sense. Um, and I have seen someone do that, but what the hell do I know? <laughs> um, all right, cool. Sam is asking, is the giveaway for patrons only? Thanks for asking that, Sam. So, uh, three giveaways a week, every single week for patrons, period, like, in, until I go bankrupt. Um, and then I do super chat giveaways. Tonight, well, yeah, every Monday night there's two super chat giveaways. Tonight, they're pretty gnarly. Uh, and then I have a feeling that we're gonna, I'm going to hit 100 patrons tonight, and I have a goal in there for when I, well, let me show you guys. I haven't shown the Patreon page yet, and it is helpful for you guys to see it. So here it is. Ooh, we're at 98, so if we get two more, there's going to be a sixth giveaway, and I'll show you guys what that sixth giveaway is going to be. If I can figure out which scene it is. There it is. So here's the goal. 98 out of 100 patrons. When we get up to 100, everybody in the $5 and up tier will be entered in a giveaway for an entire build. Um, tuned, built, ready to go, ready to fly out of the box. Um, uh, not necessarily if you're on, um, all right. So it's not going to be ready to fly out of the box. Cause I'm going to pull the receiver. Cause I don't know what you, what you guys are going to be on. I don't know if you're going to be on crossfire or FR sky or, uh, team fail safe. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to pull the receiver out. I'm also going to do that because 
I kind of need the RXSR that's in it, so... <laughs> Fair warning. It's a little bit of a selfish thing for me to do, but receivers are cheap. Hopefully you guys are cool with that. You're getting an entire rig that's been built, tuned by me, flown, um, and yeah, it's probably going to be this right here, but whoever wins, I'm going to hit them up on the Messenger in Patreon and just have like a little bit of a discussion to, to make sure that they're cool with this. If they have some other specific kind of thing that, they, that they're looking for or a different... Um, we're going to figure something out. We're going to get them into a rig that they will love forever and rip balls with. What else do we have here? Uh, Bandalorian is asking if his Megabee, well, is saying that his Megabee gets two minutes on 4S 850s running Brother Hobby Avenger 4100 KV. Are the motors too high of a KV? Uh, Megabee, I believe, is a... Cinewoop? Let's look it up. iFlight Megabee is a Cinewoop. Okay, so, uh, fair warning with Cinewoops, I don't know shit about shit. Uh, <laughs> I have not built one yet. It's going to happen very soon. This Acrobrat V1 over here is going to turn into a Cinewoop. Um, what I do know is that efficiency sort of goes out the window with those guys. You're picking up so much weight on such a small motor and prop. Um, there's all kinds of aerodynamic issues. Uh, yes, if you get the propeller to, to get close enough to the, uh, to the inside of the duct, there can be a little bit of an efficiency increase, but I don't think that we're able to really do that. Um, I don't think we're able to get those props close enough to the inside of there to actually get that efficiency increase. Maybe it kind of comes out in the wash, but I don't know from the run times that I've seen and, and the, the, um, the people that I've talked to that have had them, it really doesn't seem like there's any, um, actual real noticeable efficiency increase. So there's that, um, in terms of your KV being too high, I don't think so. It does kind of depend on what props you're running. Um, but it's way better to have a high, a, a KV that's too high. You can look up one of Joshua Bardwell's videos on, um, not one of, but look up the video on, how to set your uh, knob on your transmitter to to become a, um, a throttle curve, or you can just dump a throttle curve in the radio to bring that KV down, or even better, now that I think about it, um, you go into Betaflight and there's a, um, there's a feature called throttle limiting. It's in with your rates. Um, when you go into your rate screen, you'll see it off on the right on the bottom, and you can turn your throttle uh, percentage down. What's nice about doing it there is that also limits the PID loop. If you put a throttle curve on, it'll um, it'll turn turn the throttle down basically, but it, the PID loop won't get turned down. So like, for example, when I was running 5S on those 2400 kV motors, um, I did have a little bit of a throttle curve on, but that wasn't affecting the PID loop. When the PID loop wanted full power, it would it it took full power. Um, so yeah, a couple different ways that you can do that. I would do that as an experiment. Go out, um, drop it down to like 80%, fly it, see how it feels at full throttle. Go back up to 100, see how it feels at full throttle. Drop it down to like 60, see how it feels at full throttle. Um, a Cinewoop, you want the least, and I. this is actually how I build all of my rigs. Um, I sort of reverse engineer my rigs in a way in that I try to, to get to the amount, the least amount of power that I can possibly stand, basically, because if I do that, that is going to give me the most possible throttle resolution on the throw of the throttle stick, um, and that makes a big difference. You know, when you look at guys like Steel, who are running pretty low KV, extremely low pitch props, but you look at how technical he is, that factors into that, right? Like throttle resolution will make an incredible pilot even better and it'll make a nor you know a regular pilot a little bit better as well so uh yeah that's something that kind of came from motorsports for me to be honest with you um when picking a platform for autocross which is a a very transition heavy motorsport uh lightweight is king so you kind of look at what's the lightest possible thing that i can build but has enough power to get out of its own way um and you sort of work backwards from there so that's an interesting way to build a rig. 
I challenge you guys to do it, and I think you'll like it. Um, a ton of power is super fun, don't get me wrong, but if you want to start hitting tiny little gaps and getting really technical um, and just really kind of building yourself up as a pilot, um, I believe that dropping the amount of power down is going to really help out a lot. Um, you look at guys also like SR-13 who flew only tiny whoops for a long, long, long time. That guy's first edit with a 5-inch rig was nuts. I mean, like, the things that he could do with a rig that had a bunch of power was just bananas. So, yeah, I, I truly do think it makes you a better pilot. And I used to teach this when I was an instructor. It makes you a better driver if you have as little power as possible because you have to do stuff like maintain your momentum and... There's a whole litany of different advantages that it has. Um, with quads, it's easy. You just put the throttle limit on, go out and fly, and see what happens. Uh, so, great question. Let me know how it goes, man, because you've got an awesome screen name. I just want to talk to you more. <laughs> uh, budget FPVs, printing ducks for the Acrobrat. Curious, and Cura is saying that with 20% infill, it's going to weigh 28 grams per duct. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Um, is there anything I should do, uh, oh wait, I just skipped, oh yeah, is there anything I do to a tune or just send it, um, to, uh, you mean, budget, you mean the tune on the, um, the tune on the 3D printer or a tune on your quad? Tag me again. Uh, Jeff Freestyle, what's the best prop for a Shendro and Squirt? I do not know Jeff Freestyle, but, uh, from what I've heard, well, from what I know, okay, here, uh, Gemfan has a, uh, Cinewoop specific prop here. The, the end of this is specifically meant to get as close as possible to the duct. Uh, Gemfan classically makes the best balanced, um, not the most durable, but, sort of the best balance, best performing props. So I would go with these. Uh, HQ does also have a Cinewoop specific prop. I would also buy a pack of those because it's only an extra three, four bucks. Uh, and then I have heard from a lot of folks that cutting down five inch props, even though it's a total pain in the ass and it's never, it's probably never gonna be perfectly balanced. Uh, a lot of guys are having really good success with those. So. I would say just get the two different Cinewoop specific props, see how they jive with your specific setup, your motors, your voltage, your ducts, your all up weight, um, and just kind of take it from there. Uh, props are, props make a bigger difference than anything in the way that your build performs. So buy a lot of them, buy, just try a lot of different props. Eventually you'll find one that just fits really well with your flying style, your rig, um, everything kind of tops to bottom and that is a magic moment when that happens for me that has been for a while now the t-motor 5143 I have spent three or four weeks flying HQ 5.1 by 3.6s and I am staggered at how much durable more durable they are um, and it's got me kind of maybe thinking about switching we'll see um i i can't wait to switch back to the 50 so when when i test stuff i try not to just like one battery one battery one battery one battery um i need more time to get used to something so i'll try to run one whatever it is the original or the thing i'm testing um for a couple weeks depending on how often i'm getting out and flying but basically put 20 30 40 batteries in a row through it and then switch back um, to the other one. And that for me is the way that I'm able to really tell all the differences top to bottom. So, um, placebo is real. Confirmation bias is real. Um, don't trust your brain. Trust Ciotti. <laughs> um, Joe Gray originally had the Avans on two inch Gep RC Cinepro and they're extremely fragile. They would actually just explode in mid-flight, uh, mid and the two screws would still be there. They poofed. Uh, Joe Gray, I can almost guarantee what was happening is that you were uh, over-tightening the two screws. That is the only thing that I have ever seen or heard of getting one of these T-mount props to blow up like that. Um, so, and, and I've run a ton of those Avan 2-inch 
uh, four blade and three blade props with not a single problem. Um, they're actually unbelievably durable. Like I've never found a two inch prop that can even like touch the durability of those. So I think that was your problem or it could have just been a bad batch. You know, sometimes a batch of props will come out of the molds at a weird temperature or the mixture of the plastic was weird or the injection didn't happen quite right. Um, so that could totally have been it. But my hunch is because those screws were still there that you over tightened them. When you over tighten those T-mount screws, it just kind of like spider webs some fractures in the prop. And then when there's some, when there's the rotational G-force, it, it just lets go. Um, so I think that was your issue. Buy another set of those props in confidence. I bet you they'll be totally fine. Uh, license to drive asking if I've tried the four blade racer star 2435 props. Uh, he puts them on a toothpick build little rocket needs pit tuning because prop wash, even with two blades. Yes, I have the four blade racer star 2435s were, uh, the first prop that I put onto the baby Hawk, my original OG white, all plastic baby Hawk, um, which had a which made like a huge performance difference over the ridiculous 2.3 inch tri blades that they sent that thing with that looked like fucking oars for a boat um they, they were just like the most uh, it, it was just a ridiculous prop uh design and they were great i i absolutely loved those props um four blade is interesting a lot of grip not a lot of efficiency but yeah they were awesome props i loved them a lot of other two and a half inch props have come out since then and kind of eclipsed them in terms of um, the blade design and, and efficiency and power. Uh, but if you want a four blade, I think those are kind of it. I think I think those are pretty much the only four blade two and a half inch props um, other than the Rotor X ones, which blow up mid flight. Those really do blow up mid flight. Uh, so yeah, man, rock the shit out of those props. Get a bunch of them because I'll bet they won't be around a lot longer. Those were available two plus years ago. So, yeah, I would not be surprised if they disappear. So if, if all you guys, if, if you're interested in a four blade, two and a half inch prop, snag some of those Racer Star 2435s because I can't imagine they'll make them forever. Um, all right. And we've got Cleaner requesting an invite for FPV therapy. He hopes he can help. I'm sure you can help Cleaner. I will uh, approve all you guys at the end of the stream here. Uh, Super Deluxe with a $10 super chat. Thank you, brother. Much appreciated. He says, we're building an army and you're all invited. Goddamn right. Uh, we need a name, guys. We, we Like like the, our little group of mad people, we, we need a name. Um, I was going with Team Ciotti for a little bit, but Team Ciotti is, is my family. Um, Kristen, little Harry Potter, and I were Team Ciotti. Um, it's one of our ways of getting through certain mental illness things. Um, so we can't go with that. We got to come up with a name. And I've been thinking about it, and I can't come up with shit. So if you guys have any cool suggestions, uh, I should probably make a Patreon post. I'll make a Patreon post for uh, to to name our little band of merry, merry lunatics. <laughs> Ken is asking what the difference is between a whoop and a toothpick. Ken, uh, your guess is as good as mine, man. <laughs> I mean, a time the the. Tiny Whoop is ducted, and a toothpick is not. I, I think that's the actual answer. But toothpick is just a word that Kebab picked when he started to build a non-ducted, very lightweight, um, at the time, two-and-a-half-inch prop uh, quad. And in its first iterations, it was a Tiny Whoop taken apart, um, and, and just put onto a carbon frame basically and then it just snowballed out of control from there and now people call everything that's that's a micro brushless a toothpick which is just insane in my opinion toothpick should designate something that is extremely lightweight two and a half inch or three inch props and um central kind of canopy camera up on top we all know the formula that kebab has kind of worked out to keep things simple, I think that's what a toothpick should be, but who the hell knows? Everybody's got a different definition. Nobody's, you know, no wrong answers there, but as far as I'm concerned, a whoop is a ducted, tiny little bastard, and then a toothpick is a super lightweight micro brushless rig. Um, 
In my opinion, when you get like up over 120 or so grams all up weight on a three inch or a two and a half inch rig, that ceases to be a toothpick, a toothpick and now it's just a micro brushless. Uh, so there's my opinion for whatever that's worth, which is not much. <laughs> Uh, Andrew Hall is asking what I think of the Gigawatt 35 amp V2 ESC. Heard somewhere that Akon is making them. Um, so I was interested in that ESC a while back. I messaged Corey uh, Cricket FPV and asked him, hey man, what ESCs have you found that don't catch on fire in big collisions um, or just fail? And I knew at the time I knew that he was sponsored by Heli Direct. I was already running the Talon F7, um, so that that was the one that I was kind of asking about. Like, you know, what what's the deal with the Gigawatt? I expected him to say it's awesome. I love it and I run them. Um, but and in fairness, this is probably the V1. I, I don't know. I didn't ask him V1, V2. I didn't even know there was a V1 or a V2 to be totally honest. Um, but what he said is that he's tried a couple of them and they were failing. They just were not holding up. And he switched over to Akon AK-32s, and they've been absolutely bulletproof. Um, at that point, I bought a bunch of AK-32s, and I have been pounding them for months and months and months, and they've been absolutely perfect. I don't think the Gigawatt is much less expensive than the AK-32, so I would just go with the AK-32. There are some package deals for like a Talon F7 with the Gigawatt, if you're going to save 20 bucks, I would maybe think about it. Um, personally, I wouldn't do it. Uh, the AK-32 is extremely durable and has been completely problem-free. And I can I cannot say that about a single other ESC. And I've got a pile of about 20 blown-up ESCs over there. So I've tested a lot. The Akon, um, both the 30x30 and the 20x20 have been completely bulletproof and that's good enough for me i don't care if they're a hundred dollars if they're not gonna fail um done because changing an esc is just a complete pain in the ass um and and i'll pay an extra 20 30 bucks to not have to rip a rig apart uh and swap an esc out so that's just me if it's a really good deal though with the gigawatt and if the gigawatt is made by akon to the same specs as the ak32 absolutely do it um I can't speak to that. All I can speak to is the fact that I'm never buying an, another ESC other than an AK32. AK uh, Krunkt is asking why we don't all run higher KV motors and use the motor output limit to just um, target the KV that we want. I don't know. <laughs> uh, cons must be that it's a little bit less efficient, but it seems like a no-brainer. Uh, I've talked to Ryan Harrell about this at length. I had the exact same question for him. And he had pretty much the same answer that I did, which is like, yeah, why the hell not? Um, he did say that there is a little bit of an efficiency increase in going with the lower KV motor, but he also said that it's almost guaranteed to be completely inconsequential. Um, so yeah, all of the money that I spent on 1600 KV Pro 32s was pretty much dumb. I should have just stayed with the 2400s um, and just throttle limited them down. My excuse is that at the time there was no throttle limit um, and I didn't want the PID loop asking for 100% and getting 6S 2400 KV. Um, so that's why I went down that path. But yeah, nowadays buy your 6S batteries, limit your throttle and it should be absolutely fine. Um, I have not tried that. So do that at your own risk. Joshua Bardwell does have a video or two about it. Um, he does have a video of when that feature was first available of it not working well. Um, I believe that was a nightly build, um, a, um, not an official beta flight release. So yeah, somebody try it and message me somewhere and let me know how it goes because I want to know and I don't have a rig that can do it right now. The, um, the, the forest rig is on an uh, excuse me, an older ESC that won't, oh wait, no, I did switch it over. All right, so I can test it. I'll test it if, if I remember. <laughs> I will try to remember to test it. Um, that rig was on an older ESC for a while, but I, I forgot that I changed that out very recently. Uh, explosive fruits, first day at school, sucks to be you. Actually, it rules to be you. 
I would kill to go back to school. Life was so simple. Learning things is fun. School is wasted on the on the young. <laughs> uh, what else do we got here? All right, I think I'm gonna call it. We are at 10:50. Woo! There's a bunch of. Okay, I'm gonna blast through these chats, guys. Uh, Bandalorian, you're welcome. Andrew Hall. Uh, we can all go back to flying 1806s and 5x3 biplates. <laughs> that will limit the power. It certainly will. Uh, Killer B sent a request to the page. I'll get you at the end of the stream, my man. Uh, keep forgetting to make my Facebook page for my handle. Oh my god, espionage. Wow. Respect. Um, to get something for free, though, espionage, you have to know the name of the show that it's from. But you're on the right track. Uh, Magic Smoke says 100 patrons. Nice job, man. That means that we have hit 100, I think. 102. Look at you guys. Thank you, everybody. We did it. Somebody's getting an entire build. Uh, I'm going to do that as the sixth wheel spin. I had a feeling we would do it tonight. You guys rule. Uh, let's just keep it going, man. At 200, we're doing another giveaway. It's the shirt off my goddamn back. So, like, for example, if we'd hit... 200 tonight i'd have to ship the winner this shirt so that'll be interesting um i can't guarantee you i'll take it off in the middle of the stream and do the rest of the stream naked but you know afterwards i'll take it off and ship it to you uh as well as of course another full build and then if we somehow get to 500 which would just be silly um i will fly to someone's hometown get an airbnb and fly with them all weekend teach them stuff build with them um, dump every bit of FPV knowledge that I know on them. So that'll be awesome. Uh, or I will fly them here to Atlanta if they want to fly all the epic Atlanta spots. Uh, but that's a hell of a stretch. 500 patrons is, is kind of nutty. But hey, let's go for it. What the hell? <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's awesome. You guys rule 102 out of 200. Let's get to 200. Let's give away a full build tonight. Um... What else do we have? Uh, BH Hitting is saying, look into the Cinerat, pretty, pretty sick Cinewoop that actually handles well. Indeed, um, although they're kind of cheating a little bit with it, um, not having a full duct is why it flies so good. Um, if you were to take an existing ducted Cinewoop and put a prop guard on it like the Cinerat, it would more than likely fly exactly the same as the Cinerat. Um, that is kind of my thought process when it comes to Cinewoops. Um, and it's why I'm building an Acrobrat into a Cinewoop rather than buying a Squirt or a Bumblebee or any of the number of different options available. Um, I don't necessarily, for my uses, I don't necessarily understand a specific Cinewoop setup. Um, I am hoping that this Acrobrat with a set of stout ducts on it will be every bit as good as a Cinewoop. Um, we'll find out. I'm going to get this thing. I tinned the pads on the, the replacement ESC, so we're this much closer to having this thing back up in the air. And huge, huge, huge shout out to uh, Dustin down in Florida. Dusty Stunts. He's a patron. He's in the chat more than likely. Uh, he is printing me up a set of ducts a hero mount, a bunch of other cool stuff for the Acrobrat. Um, I think I convinced them earlier today to set up a Patreon page so that he can start selling and offering to you guys his TPU printing services. Um, BMC 3D, in fairness, Brent over there, that's my favorite shop at the moment. His designs are phenomenal. Um, I haven't seen Dustin's designs yet, but Dustin is printing me a bunch of stuff from Thingiverse. Um, you can go to Brent for that, but it'd be cool for, for one of our patrons to be kind of our go-to guy for, for Thingiverse stuff. So um, more, lots of love for everybody, including Brian at, at Brain3D. Um, we're going to look at something that I got from him recently uh, in a little bit here. Yeah, whoever's closest to you, whoever you like the best, get them to do your 3D printing. Um, Dustin, again, huge thanks. Super looking forward to getting the, uh, the stuff that's probably printing right now, I believe. I think he's got me on in the background and he's printing and ripping around the house in a, what did he get, a meteor, I think. So hopefully it's not on fire yet, brother. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, all right, cool. So what else do we have? What else do we have? Let's rip through the rest of these. Chainsaw FPV sending a dollar over. Much appreciated, my man. I'm going to buy a half a beer with that and drink it just for you. I'll cheers to you in the invisible universe. Um, Engage FPV asking if I've seen the new Rush Micro. I have indeed. It is right here. It is going in the Acrobrat Duo when I get a chance to get this thing all put together. And um, I'm very much looking forward to that because that's got those Beta FPV 1505s, which I think are going to be the motor. But we'll see. Uh, Callisto uses the Talon Fusion and V2 and can barely tell a difference. Callisto, that's what all the black box folks, all the people that are way smarter than I am uh, with pit tuning, uh, that's what they're saying. Just Dentures said, Get FPV is selling them too. I'm not sure what we're referencing. I'm sure that comment made sense at the time that it was posted, but now that it's probably five minutes later, I don't know what we're talking about. So post what product we were talking about, Just Dentures, because I want to give Get FPV all the love that I can because they're an awesome shop, incredible customer service. And they're sponsoring tonight's stream with a $50 gift card giveaway. Uh, and they're also sponsored. They're doing two a month. So, well, shit. January 27th. I guess I got to do a rando stream during the week. All right, cool. So, the people who have clicked the bell that are going to get a notification on their phone or an email when I do a rando stream in the middle of the week before the end of the month are going to be the ones that win the uh, the next get FPV $50 gift certificate. So there you go. Click the silly bell thing and maybe you'll win 50 bucks. Uh, Daniel Maurer, Remy Tim, fearless moderator says, let's play is an achievement hunter thing. That's my guess. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Go fish, Daniel. <laughs> almost though. <laughs> Not really almost, but um, you're, you're, in the right ballpark. It is video game related. Uh, oh, cool. All right. I'm caught up there on the chat. So I think I just have a couple more here at the bottom. Let's get in here. Jacku. Wait, no. Jack FU FPV. Do you have any interest in trying a new, a new thing? I, I'm assuming that's hitting the market this year. Uh, it was designed differently than any other frame. As far as I know, um, Jack Fu messaged me. Um, I have to be a little bit careful about how much I test and review and fly and build and, and whatnot. Um, so I would love to see it and learn more about it. So I very well might be like totally gung ho, but I, yeah, I, I have a day job. I have a family. I have other things in my life that I love spending time doing. So I have to be cognizant of how much time I pour into this hobby, <laughs> which I know a lot of you guys can, can kind of understand. Uh, that's a good thing. It's uh, being fully hyper-focused on something is a form of mental illness, oddly enough. And uh, yeah, it's there's there's more things out there. It's good to learn as much as possible, but uh, there's a whole big wide world out there. Uh, Supercell is going to be sending a drone over, I believe, for a giveaway because he's a super cool dude. Uh, this week, by the way, do you want some RXSRs? I got two for sure. Don't use them and you can have them, dude. I would love that. Um, I put RXSRs in all my micros um, just because I have absolutely no need to fly a micro long range. Um, I am going to build one micro with a crossfire um, as a building dive, like just test sort of rig. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I, I run RXSRs in all my micros because micros, in my opinion, are for flying small stuff, small locations um, and Small locations are not a mile away. So, uh, yeah, dude, that would be super cool. Uh, and then if I don't need them, of course, I'll give them away, which is awesome. Or if you need them back, I'll send them back to you, of course. Um, what else do we have? William Clark calling out the over 100. Thanks, brother. Uh, Engage went from the 3 to the $5 tier. He's getting in on the action. BH hitting. Uh, oh, Cinerat, Cinerat, we talked about that. Cool. Uh, Krunk is saying that you want to use the motor output limit limit for KV targeting. That's what it's called. Okay. Uh, Krunk, is that the one that's in the, the rates tab or is that in the CLI? Tag me again because I forget where that ended up. Um, Sam says, what about the get FPV one? 
Sam, what uh, product are you talking about? Tag me again if you don't mind. Uh, Magic Smoke calling out the 100 patrons. Thanks, brother. Espionage. Uh, okay, yeah, we talked about that. Killer B, we talked about that. Cool. Andrew Hall, 1806s. Hell yeah. Bandalorian, you're welcome, my man. And here we go. Almost caught up. Dark Sagan. Ooh, Dark Sagan got it. Did you cheat? Dark Sagan got it. The shirt's from Cooptitude from Geek and Sundry. Yep. Um, if you So Felicia Day and her brother Ryan Day uh, grew up in a household without video games. Uh, I believe they had a Commodore 64, but that was it. So they didn't get to play all the Nintendo, Sega Genesis, 64, Super Nintendo, um, all those gnarly games that we all, well, most of us, I'm sure, got to play growing up. Uh, so they made a show called Cooptitude where they go back and play all those games, sometimes for the first time. And what's so cool about it is that they interact and talk shit to each other only the way that a brother and sister can. <laughs> um, I'm an only child, and I just think it's the funniest goddamn thing in the world. My wife is not an only child, and she thinks it's funny as hell, too. Uh, so, yeah, check it out, guys. If, if you're into, like, OG, um, you know, 64-bit, 32-bit, 16-bit video games, co is super fun. And there, there are some episodes that um, if your sense of humor is anything like mine, you will need to get a diaper because you'll have pissed. <laughs> um, good job, Dark Sagan. Uh, message me and I'll send you something if you want. <laughs> Daniel Sarmiento, how do you find a new spot to fly with buildings or bando preferably? Uh, awesome question, Daniel. Uh, finding new spots and just finding spots in general you just have to put the time in. Um, like most things in life and this hobby, you just got to put the time in, man. Um, what I used to do is I would eat at my desk at lunch and then I would uh, run to my car and just drive as far as I could in 15 minutes. And I would just look for spots the whole time, turn around and come back. Um, if you have an hour lunch break, drive out a half an hour as far as you can looking for spots and then if, if you can, drive like a different path on the way back. Although, to be honest, if you drive the same path on the way back, it's good to, to look a second time. Um, that's how I've found a lot of spots. I also subscribe to the principle of like ask for forgiveness rather than permission um, within reason. Like don't get, don't ruin the hobby. Be respectful. Be smart. Um, but yeah, it's just about getting out there and driving around. I know a lot of people that use Google maps. I've tried that before. I don't know. I just don't, it doesn't work for me. I, I prefer to be driving around looking for spots. That's just the way I do it. So, um, there's a couple different ways for you. I have found tons of spots from just driving around. Um, every time I'm driving around, my eyes are just sweeping for, as I'm sure most of you guys understand, I'm just always looking for spots, which drives Krista nuts sometimes, but Hey, she still loves me, luckily. <laughs> uh, Jeff Freestyle saying, hashtag trust Ciotti. Thank you, Jeff Freestyle. I agree. Um, <laughs> it's interesting. Eng Engage says, trust Ciotti would be a cool Ciotti FPV shirt. I am going to do merch. I got to do stickers. Um, I'm not going to spoil the surprise. I got some cool merch uh, that Kristen and I are going to do when we get some free time to, to get it all figured out. So we'll see. Uh, budget FPV said the tune on the quad budget, uh, message me on Patreon or Facebook or Instagram and we'll get you tuned up. Uh, coaches FPV with five bucks. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. When your quad is too floaty at slow speeds, what setting do I use to adjust the float? So coaches, my question to you back is going to be, um, and I'm assuming it's, it's floaty when you're upright. I'm assuming that you're not talking about like when you're inverted in a big throw or something like that. Um, so if you're talking about it being upright, um, when you say floaty, I think what you mean is like it's hard to get it to drop altitude, um, in which case you want to adjust your uh, your digital idle, which is right below the D-shot selection in the configuration tab of, uh, of uh, Betaflight. Uh, if you're on 4.1, the default has gone up to 5.5%. So you can drop that down to 5% for sure. That's what I do. Um, you can probably even drop it down to 4.5% uh, and still get away with it. 
what you want to be careful of as you go lower and lower and lower with that is at some point it'll just start falling out of the sky. Um, so if you start dropping that number down and you and it just drops out of the sky at random, you've probably gone too low. It could be another problem popping up, but yeah, it's, it's more than likely the thing that you're changing, right? Um, so that's something that you can do. You can also put a throttle curve in, um, which will just give you more resolution at the bottom of the throttle. Um, uh, Nick Willard, Wild Willy, FPV has an excellent video on how to do throttle curves where he breaks it down nice and simple and just runs right through it. Um, Joshua, I'm sure, has videos that'll get into a little bit more depth, but there you go. There's a couple different options for you. Um, great question, though. Joe Gray, for the cause, this is the way. Five bucks. This is certainly the way. Much appreciated, Joe. Very cool of you. Uh, Explosive Fruits saying, call us the Seattizens. <laughs> That's as good as what I had in mind. <laughs> Uh, off axis is, is saying, how about the tuna ticks? That's an interesting one too. All right, cool. We got some ideas flowing. I'll do a uh, Patreon post and we'll, we'll dump them all in there and then I'll do a survey monkey and uh, I'll let you guys pick. Uh, Doc Murdoch is going with team micro Ciotti food for thought. That's cool too. Ciotti bees is an, is a suggestion from Jeff freestyle. It's another cool one. Tiago is saying, no, he doesn't have a suggestion. He just has a question. Have you tested the hobby wing 40 amp? Uh, Hobbywing 40 amp. No, I believe that's a, th oh no, that's the 20 by 20. I have not. Um, I've had a really rough time with Hobbywing gear. Uh, they're, they're, uh, I had two of their 30 by 30 older ESCs fail. The ones that everybody said were bulletproof. Uh, and then their flight controller failed on me and their 20 by 20 flight controller failed and their 20 by 20, uh, ESC failed on me. So I've sworn off Hobbywing. That being said, everybody else seems to say that their gear is awesome, so grain of salt, right? Um, when I have a bad experience with a company and there's other companies available, I'm cool with just saying to hell with it. Uh, I'm moving on. Um, but that's not to say that you guys should do the same. Uh, Bandalorian with $4.99. Much appreciated, my man. Really digging the live streams, brother. Want to build a 3-inch lightweight with a Cadex Vista on board. 4S preference. Because I've got 20 of them. What do you got? Um, so, Cadex Vista, right now, what I think is the ideal build for that is an Acrobrat. Um, that is a heavy and big VTX. I don't know of many frames that are going to, current micro frames that are going to take a VTX that's that big. Um, but the Acrobrat, I think, is going to give you the most chances possible, mainly because the new Duo has uh, different... Let me see if you guys can see this. Now, let me put it over my face. There you go. It's got different mounting hole options in the rear and in the front. So I'm pretty sure that this is what you want. The other reason why I suggest this is that this is really like there are other frames that'll probably have the space but they weigh what this does and this has a clean dirty setup and those other ones don't and if you're gonna have a three inch frame that's this heavy you might as well have a clean dirty system for more for um jello free hd footage so yeah and tommy's an awesome dude that makes a hell of a frame and this is a v2 frame that about 20 of us have put thousands of batteries through and crashed a lot so all that feedback that went to tommy um in our group and our group chat and all this stuff for the last like year and a half has gone into the v2 so this is a very well developed frame that i'm in love with and i think is going to be the go-to frame um for the cadex vista my frame will not work with it like period um down the road, we're thinking about making a different center canopy area that is longer and bigger that can maybe work with it. But end of February, if I have a frame, it ain't going to work with the Cadex Vista, uh, which is fine. That that setup is heavy. That camera is heavy. That uh, VTX is heavy. The VTX is big. So it makes sense to go with a bigger frame. And yeah, I think the Acrobat is the best bigger, a little bit heavier than normal three inch frame. Uh, awesome question though, man. And again, thanks for the super chat. I am going to pause it there. Uh, Andrew Hall asks though, hold on. 
The package with the Talon F7 Fusion was a good buy. If it fails, I'll replace it. Good to hear uh, how much experience you've had with the Acon, though. Awesome. Awesome, Andrew. Let me know how it goes. Um, I do want to know. All right. I am going to pause the chat there because it's 10 after 11, and we haven't even touched the giveaways yet. So uh, let's head over to Patreon, and I need to do some things here on Patreon to get all the new people that jumped in into the wheels. So, all right. Let's figure this out. Give me a second. Let me give you guys something to watch. Okay, let's do this. Let's go into Pilot Spotlight. It's Juan's FPV for the night. Uh, this is my wife Kristen's favorite FPV pilot, even more than me. Uh, we're going to hit up Juan's FPV. That's going to give me a second to put his video up and um, maybe two videos up <laughs> and add everybody to the wheels so that we can do the giveaways. So, yeah, Pilot Spotlight, Juan's FPV, so shitload excited. of subscribers. Awesome dude. He's over in... Did we ever figure out where he is? I think he's in China. Yeah, we think he's in China. Um, he is merciless on his gear. You guys think I'm hard on gear? Dive into Juan's channel. Look at some of his stuff from like six plus months ago. He is brutal and I love it. Um, we're going to hit one of his more recent videos here. Let me pull up the second monitor so you guys can actually see his channel. I'm also going to hit you with the link to his channel coming in the hot to the chat here it goes bing bang boom there's Juan's channel give him a sub I promise you'll dig him uh let's see what do we got city and forest mm. bando and rock stars mm. what else we oh yeah 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 bando and rock star yeah yeah this is the one this is the one it's a little long so I won't play the whole video but this will actually give me enough time to um uh to get the the wheels of doom done so enjoy here comes wands get it
Come on now. Is that not the gnarliest shit you've seen in a hot minute? What a spot, right? Look at that. How do you... I'm moving to China, guys. Alright, let's come back. I am now good to go with the wheel. And you guys should all be subscribed to Juan's FPV because he's the dude. He also gets like some... I, I, I get the feeling that like he's the top pilot for his wherever he lives. And uh, he gets some really cool opportunities. <laughs> he's flown some really sick stuff. So dig back in his channel. There's all kinds of good stuff in there. Um, let's do some goddamn giveaways. I got everybody out of the notifications. We should be totally caught up to date. Everybody's in here. Let's get some spinning done. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about that? Uh, mad for damn, not too late to enter. Go over to Patreon. Um, tell me what tier you're going on though, right now. Tell me what tier you're going to go on in the Patreon and then make sure you go on that tier. Uh, duper, 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 duper. No audio in your mic, only video. Okay, yeah, that was good, Bandalorian. Uh, $3, cool. Mad, $3 gets you onto the Patreon. It doesn't get you into the giveaways. 5 10 and 20 gets you into the giveaways. So if, if you want to get in on the giveaways, um, if you want the Tiny Whoop giveaways and Toothpick giveaways, it's, it's the $5 tier. Um, 3-inch micro brushless giveaways are the $10 tier. And then 5-inch rig giveaways are the $20 tier. Um, and then we are going to do the Super Chat after that. So you can still get in on... Um, on the two super chat giveaways um 10 bucks cool awesome i'm gonna get you in right now i'm gonna go mad for damn which is probably mad adam with the number four as an a uh mad is gonna be the last one getting in mad for damn cool apply wheel changes First one we're going to do, as always, didn't do the 100 giveaway yet, um, Mad for Damn. I, I got to put you in on that. Um, Tiago, yep, I got you in all of them. What did I do with the uh, the stuff? What did I do with the stuff, guys? Here's the stuff, I think. Is this the stuff? This might be the stuff. Oh, yeah, this is the stuff. This is the stuff. First up for the $5 um, Tiny Whoop and Toothpick tier is a wonderful selection of props. Uh, I basically went and ordered all of the props that I know to be balanced, most importantly, um, and just in general, like, good. <laughs> so these are all of the, th this is Toothpick, this is geared towards Toothpicks. Um, so these are all of the good toothpick props most of them are three inch but two of them are two and a half inch um so this is a full pack of every single prop option because as i said before i want you uh i want you guys to be buying all the different props flying all the different props because i genuinely do think that when you find the right prop it's magic and everybody's getting a baby yoda sticker now in their giveaways i mean if that's not worth it for you to hop on the patreon i don't know what is Bag of props, all the different options. Here we go. Oh, let me do the thing. Uh, Joshua, I just saw you edit your thing. I'm going to do it real quick. Joshua. Joshua was the last one. Apply wheel changes. Let me get the goat ready. Let's get over the right screen. And let's click an M effing button. Here we go. Who is it? I made it spin longer too. It's Eric Farmer. Eric Farmer, if you're in here, shoot me a message uh, with your address and tell me that you won the, the $5 tier and we will get you some dope ass props. Uh, I will also message everybody on Patreon afterwards to let them know what's going on. Let me be a good streamer and write this down. God forbid, as has happened before, I lose it and or the computer bombs and I can't find it. So Eric Farmer, um, $5 tier. 
Congratulations, Eric. You're gonna get some sick props, my friend. Next up, we've got the three inch micro brushless tier. Another big bag of props, but these are for heavier weight micro brushless rigs. Look at this sticker, guys. Come on, man, come on. Look at that. Look at that cute little bastard. If you don't know what Baby Yoda is from, get yourself Disney Plus and watch Mandalorian and then just cancel Disney Plus. <laughs> um, in this one, we've got the Avan 3-inch props, the Gemfan 3028s, the 4-blade HQs, the T-Motor 3140s, and the Azor 3060s. Man, does it feel weird to know all of those props offhand and all of the sizes and pitches and my god, I need to get a life. <laughs> this is the best life. We all win. I can't get them back in the bag, but that's okay because we're going to just spin the effing wheel. Let's do it! <coughs> Who's it going to be? It's going to be somebody. If it's not, it would be... Oh my god, it's Kevin Durant. Oh, Cage, you almost got it, but Kevin Durant got you at the last second there. Kevin Durant, congratulations. You've got a whole bunch of micro brushless three inch props. All of my favorites, all the ones that are best balanced, all the ones that are gonna make you a better pilot, and then you're gonna make a sick at it, and you're gonna be e famous, and you're gonna get paid in all the exposure bucks. It's gonna be great. Double A is in the house. Double A, how the hell are you, man? Um, thank you for that, Daniel Maurer. Laying the smack down in the chat. Anybody who, who switched too late, um, what I'll probably do is like get you in for a second time next week. Do me a favor and shoot me a message. Um, if, if you did it like super late and I didn't get you changed. Um, when I came out of Juan's video, I had looked at all of the announcements or all of the, um, at the end of Juan's video, I was up to date and then I added two people. If you weren't one of those two people that I added, shoot me a, um, Message on Patreon, and I'll make it right. Next up, the lovely 5-inch tier with a Skyliner. And another Baby Yoda sticker, of course. This one's got Mando and the little green bastard hanging out. Uh, but much more importantly, X-Hover Skyliner frame. Marcus, I just see you, saw you went to the $10 tier. Message me, we'll make it right. Um, where can you buy that sticker? Joe Gray asks. I want to say that it was on Etsy. Yeah, it was on Etsy. Um, if you go to Etsy, I just stumbled across it, but I bet you if you just type in like Baby Yoda to Etsy, you can find <laughs> Sarmiento's is in just for the Baby Yoda stickers. It's a, um, it's a 50 sticker pack, actually. It's 50 Baby, uh, baby Yoda stickers, and it was really cheap. So yeah, it's on, uh, it's on Etsy. Um, if you guys can't find it, uh, Message me and we'll figure something out. Uh, so yeah, X cover, Skyliner, frame, Drew Camden's preferred frame of choice. Awesome frame. I pieced one of these together before I sent it out a couple weeks ago and I was very impressed. Um, I will say that you should spend the extra couple bucks. Go on Rotorite if you win this. Go on Rotorite store. Um, Drew has like a, a stage two or I forget what the hell. I think that's what he's calling it. Kit. Um, that makes the front end of this frame a little bit uh, uh, more durable, and it's pretty inexpensive. Uh, they are all different. Yeah, 50 completely different Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda stickers. Um, yeah, the Baby Yoda keychain is, is somewhere. If you type that in, you'll find that. Kristen just heard me say that, and she's probably going to come in with it. Um, so yeah, let's spin a wheel for a Skyliner frame. $100 X-Hover awesome frame. Where is it at? Here it is. Here is... The big tier. Best of luck, everybody. I think Kristen's coming with the thing in the place. Here we go. I'm going to show this really fast. Look at that. Look at that little thing. This is why I was on Etsy. Um, because uh, somebody in FPV's son, I want to say, is making these. And, yeah, it's awesome. Look at it. That's, that's how big it is in relation to my big gangly hands. Yeah, super cool. Love this thing. There you go. Be good. Uh, all right. Back to more important business. Spinning wheels. Hey! Um. <laughs> Who's it going to be? It's looking like Oscar. 
Oh my god, Dennis Brown got him at the last second. Dennis Brown robbing Oscar of an X hover skyline frame. Congratulations, Dennis Brown. Now we're going to jump into two um, Super Chat giveaways and one full build giveaway for hitting 100 patrons. So let's, you know what? Let's do the 100 patron giveaway first because I got to pull that out of Patreon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Patreon here. I'm going to open it up to, so it's five bucks and above, as I mentioned earlier, and as was written in the goals thing. Um, Ah, Dark, I did forget to add you. I'll, I'll put you in twice next week. Um, jump on to uh, send me a message so I don't forget. Uh, sorry, Jimmy. Did I, was I cursing and I got you in trouble? My bad. Uh, put headphones on. I'm never going to stop cursing. I have managed to stop saying GD, but all the other curses, I'm never going to be able to stop. So if you guys got to wear headphones, that's on you. Sorry to get you grounded, Jimmy. <laughs> Um, all right, cool. So I am on Patreon. I'm going to refresh this, which is going to give me all of the patrons that are from f that are active and they are from five dollars to infinity. So that is everybody. Um, it's showing seventy six. So yeah, that's that sounds about right. Seventy six. So I'm going to kick this out in a, C uh, a CSV. I'm going to open this. I am going to try to not show everybody's info on the stream. Hey, look at that. Okay, so I'm going to grab everybody. And this is also going to grab like my parents and people that don't necessarily belong in here. But if they win, I'll just redo it. Uh, now I'm going to go over here to the wheel and I'm going to paste the list. There's the list. Let me just spot check this real quick. We begin with Adam. Romano, we end with Zach Kiz Martin. Sweet. Okay, that is good. Let me just do another quick little spot check here. Yeah, looks like we're good. Cool. Adding to the wheel. I am going to switch the scene. So, more than likely, this is going to be for this three inch rig. This is something that I built. A uh, while ago, I've been flying it, developing it. Um, I actually brushed it up a little bit and gave it to Jamie, Little Stellar Fox, to try to get her flying micros. Um, she is whole hog on the DJI system, so she ended up giving it back. Uh, and now you guys are going to get it. One of you guys is going to get it. So, yeah, super cool little build. Uh, Fox Ear Arrow. Um, don't know what that ESC is, but I know it's a 25 amp uh, VTX in there. And then maybe I'll leave the RXSR. But whoever wins this, we're going to have a conversation to make sure that this is like what you want. And uh, yeah, make sure we get you something that you're going to fly a lot. So this is pretty slick. I'm blown away that we're at 100 patrons. You guys are absolutely awesome. <laughs> but grinder con I, th I thought it was just grinder comment. <laughs> Um, last thing, go check out. Post I, I'll check that out, Killer B. Uh, let's get this going, though. Here we go. No whammies. Big giveaway. 100 patrons. I fucking love all you guys. Hopefully, whoever needed to have headphones on, put the headphones on and heeded my advice. Here we go. <laughs> Didn't get it, but that's okay. Who gets a full build? There's so many people on there we can't even see. We gotta wait until the last second. Kelly Davis in the game. Kelly Davis, I'm gonna send you a message on Patreon. Congratulations, you get a whole build. We'll make sure it's something that you're gonna love. Fly the living hell out of. That's pretty awesome. 200, I'm gonna have to take my shirt off. Whoever wins that one is gonna get a stinky shirt and another build. That's awesome. Kelly Davis, shoot me a message. I'll shoot you a message. We'll talk. We'll get you into a full build. Next, we're going to do some super chat giveaways so that for whatever reason... Oh, and i got to put a sticker in there with it too. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats on the sticker, Daniel says. Um, awesome. Yeah, so uh, for anybody that can't, for whatever, join the Patreon, we're going to do a couple super chat giveaways as usual. Uh, it's 1130. Ooh, we're getting through these pretty quick tonight. That's unusual. Uh, ooh, really quick though. 
when you write things down. Kelly Davis is 100 patron giveaway. Okay, and then we've got Kevin Durant on the $10 winner. And then we've got Dennis Brown. Dennis Brown is one of the folks who I think I've sent almost an entire quad to. Um, I believe he's on the $30 tier. And that man is cleaning house. Uh, okay, cool. So we got two more. I have just enough space on this paper. I'm going to take a drink of water so I don't die. Nick S. loves me. Oh, all right. You guys want to see the sticker. Where are they? Hold on. I'll show you the sticker that's going to go with the uh, with the build. <laughs> I knew you guys would love the stickers, but I didn't think you'd love them this much. All right. All right. All right. You got it. I'm down. So I'm just going to pick a random one. All right. It's going to be this one. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that. Oh, let me get the focus. Let's let's get the full effect, guys, because you're all rightfully freaking out about the stickers. Oh, there he is, guys. There's the babyest of Yodas, just hanging on to Mando for dear life. <laughs> all right, cool. So I need to set this aside. I'm gonna put this under the quad. <laughs> all right, good deal. Um, next, this is a big one, kebab of FPV cycle, uh, as you can see here, uh, wonderful, like kind of ongoing stream sponsors. He's doing God's work over there. He's an awesome guy and he has donated to the cause a glide frame, which if you don't know by now is my preferred freestyle frame. Uh, it took, every molecule of my self-control to not just keep it for myself, but I have plenty, so I'm good. Don't worry about me. Uh, yeah, this is an entire glide frame. This is the new one with the, um, uh, um, oh my God, what's it called when they round the edges of the carbon out? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, beveled, uh, beveled carbon fiber. Yeah, this is, this is the frame, guys, in my opinion. Th this is the one. This is the five inch frame that you want. So, we're gonna do it as a super chat thingy, and it's gonna be f five bucks. I think that's fair, right? Yeah, five bucks, chamfer, that's the word. Thanks, guys. Um, five dollar super chat, it doesn't have to be the sticker, it's the regular glide, it's the standard glide, not the hammer. Uh, I'm still waiting for more of the hammer arms uh, to come in, as well as the glide, I think the glide light arms might have come in. Uh, hit Bob's website, fpvcycle.com for that. Uh, $5 super chat gets you in. I'll add you guys all to the wheel. Uh, if you can do, if you want multiple entries, you can do 10 bucks for two entries, 15 for three, whatever you want. It's totally on you guys. Um, yeah, cool. Somebody's going to win my favorite frame. And that's pretty cool. Mongo FPV is first fail at FPV, fail at FPV. I want you to win because if you get this frame, you'll no longer fail at FPV. You'll have to make a new channel called Succeeding or Winning at FPV or something along those lines. And then you're going to have to send me that link with mad edits. And I'll put you on here as my pilot of the week and it'll be great. Say my name, says Yeah Boyd. <laughs> Thomas Bird Jr. getting in. Engage getting in. John Larson. Daniel Sarmiento. Oh. <laughs> so our... Uh, one of our fearless moderators, Daniel Maurer, is serious about this frame. He's going in $14.99, getting three entries in for this frame. He's hungry for it. Who else is hungry? Um, Explosive Fruits. I don't know what the name is yet. I'm going to put a, uh, a post up on Patreon so that everybody can get in. And then we'll do a Survey Monkey so that you guys pick the name of this little crew that we've developed. So let me start typing names in. Instead of just yapping on and on and on. Um, when I'm done typing names in, this closes. So hurry up. <laughs> Daniel Sarmiento says, uh, Tiago, you got to do that conversion for me uh, for whatever R is. I'm doing a terrible job learning what the different um, uh, forms of currency are. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go Mongo first. 
And then we've got, oh, look at it's, uh, it's auto suggesting. I have not noticed that. Fail at FPV is second, and he, I'm pulling for him. I'm pulling for fail because this frame, I swear to God, is going to make him fail less. John Larson coming in. Then we've got Engage. Whoop, that's not how you spell it. FPV. We've got Thomas Bird, always a big supporter. Thomas, you're the man. Next, we've got Yeah Boyd, saying his name twice with a terrific name. Then we've got Magic Smoke coming in. I'm pulling for Magic Smoke too, because this frame is so good, it's going to prevent his electronic components from sending out that Magic Smoke. So I'm pulling for both of you guys. Um, Dark Sagan is getting in on this. You guys better hurry. I'm almost done. Uh, Daniel Sarmiento is next. He's probably gonna... No, it didn't auto-suggest. I guess I have to type it in twice, maybe, for it to, uh, auto-suggest. Who's next? Daniel Maurer coming in three times. Daniel Maurer. That is not at all how you spell it. Luckily, it's auto-suggesting. We're gonna go copy pasta. One, two, three. And who else do we have here? We got Tiago. Oh wow, okay. This is getting this is getting real. Um Tiago, I'm not gonna uh, I think it's I don't know what it is. I don't know what R is. Um, but tag me so I see it, Tiago. Um I'm gonna leave you off for the moment. Espionage is getting in. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna start typing these in half-assed. Ooh, Bandalorian coming in hot with $20. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Bandalorian. Not only does he have my favorite name of the night, but he is shooting to kill. You guys are animals, man. I love it. Uh, Euro is coming in. He's going for two entries. U-I-U-R... I have so much trouble spelling Euro's name. Oh, no, it's not Turo. It's Euro. <laughs> All right, Euro's getting in twice. He's going for it. Uh, who's next? Burden is getting <laughs> Th Thomas Burden is coming in with his other YouTube name, <laughs> which he doesn't need to do. So the story behind the multiple um, entries allowance is that Thomas Burden has two YouTube names, and before I, I, I've never had a problem with it, but I never, I never even thought about it. He, um, he put like a, a super chat in as, uh, as this one name. And then he came back in the other name and he told me after I was like, ah, oh, you don't have to do that. dude." <laughs> so then at that point I started making the announcement that you guys can just do, uh, if you want to enter multiple times, you can just spend more. Uh, <laughs> but I love that he's coming in hot with his other youtube name to remind me to tell that fun little story michael b is next and coming to the end here engage fpv getting in again i think i think i've typed you in once already yeah i did oh man you guys are going for it on this one Jeez. okay youtube just did the thing where it zipped down to the bottom so i gotta scroll back up try to find my place uh there's engage okay daniel sarmiento wants in two more times I can make that happen. Man, next month is going to be fun, man. I'm going to be able to buy all kinds of shit to test. You guys are killing it. All right, Daniel, you're in three times now. Once on top, two on the bottom. Explosive Fruits, equivalent to five USD. Thank you for doing the... Um, I can't speak when I type. It just doesn't work for doing the conversion for me. Explosive Fruits, not FPV. See what I mean? And then we've got a little bit of cleaner coming in. All right, I'm going to go real fast now. Thomas Bird getting in again. Uh, I'm still waiting for Tiago. Okay, okay. Thank you, Tiago. Uh, one entry for Tiago. These one entry guys, if you guys win, they're going to be pissed at you. They're going to hunt you down. All right, we got cleaner. I got Thomas Bird in there again. Jimmy McCool Cool uh, with three bucks and then two bucks. Awesome. I would have just put you in anyway, because that's just the kind of guy that I am. And then I would have bugged you for the extra two bucks later. <laughs> Ooh, 
look at Daniel putting in an entry for Joe Gray. Good on you. This is what I'm... See, when I tell you guys that we got a cool group of people, I'm not lying. Look at that, man. Look at Daniel Maurer, fearless moderator. He's already doing the work of the moderator, and now he's helping folks out. Very cool. Bill McCoy as well. You guys... Hold on. There's another one coming, too, guys. Remember that, right? Still got one more. Nick S. is going to be the last one. Shutting it down. Getting ready for the next one. Let's... Well, shit. This is, like, a lot. Um, maybe this is for both. All right. How about this? Since there's so many of you guys, um, this is going to be for both of the um, Super Chat giveaways. So... I'm going to roll this wheel now, and then anybody that wants to also get in on the $50 GetFPV gift card, um, you can also get in. Well, nah, that's not necessarily fair. Okay, so anybody that wants to also get in on the um, $50 GetFPV gift card, do it now. And we'll do two rolls back-to-back -back for it. I think that's the fairest. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to spin it once for the frame, and then we're going to spin it again for the GetFPV $50 gift card. So I'm going to give you guys like 60 seconds. I'm actually going to put it on my phone, 60 seconds, because I have no ability to like stay on track whatsoever. And I'll just keep yapping and slapping and flapping for the next hour, and we won't spin anything. So I'm going to go stopwatch. No, I'm going to go timer, one minute, and I'm going to hit the start button. And it's going to make a duck sound when it's done. So if you want to get in on both of these giveaways, same thing, five bucks. I think that's a fair number. Cody Clemens is the first one in the door. We're going to go Cody Clemens. And then we've got a little Mongo action in the house. And Bandalorian. Yeah, Bando, I think I got you in here. Let's make sure... Bando. Ooh, man, I got I got you in here four times, Bandalorian. Is that is that correct? I think it's correct. Uh, Andrew Hall coming in hot, trying to get in on both the giveaways. I kind of like doing it this way. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do it this way forever now. Just one big lump of wheel, and then both of the super chat giveaways. Um, yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll do this forever. That's cool. <laughs> Daniel's out of money. <laughs> We've bankrupted Daniel. I heard it. I think I heard it. Did I hear it? I did, but it stopped immediately. We'll give you guys one more minute because I'm not even done typing it in yet, and that was a quick minute. One more minute for you guys. I also don't know what the delay is. Uh, I got Andrew Hall. I got to get Thomas Bird in here. And who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Bill McCoy. The real deal with Bill McNeil. Anybody know what that's from? The real deal with Bill McNeil. Uh, <laughs> Euro getting in again. Ciotti FPV supporting. I don't know what was it. I, I want to. I have a, a giveaway and I forget it and I just fucked it all up and now it's bad. What's my? Uh, um, <laughs> where is it? I left it in here. Ah, I messed it up. Oh, there it is. Ciotti FPV, supporting gambling addiction since 2019. Uh, all right, closed. No more. That's it. Uh, let me make sure I got it right. Euro, oh, espionage getting in last second. Okay. Uh, all right, so I'll give it like 30 more seconds because I know there is a delay. This stopwatch is not working right. Uh, <laughs> who do we got? All right, so it was Euro, and then we've got parts for bent toys. And then we have Nick S. <laughs> Nick S is putting five bucks in, even though he doesn't know what's going on. Good on you, Nick S. <laughs> that's, that's a hell of a compliment, man. You just trust me. Magic Smoke. And then our last one. I'm spelling this all wrong, but it really doesn't matter. Espionage getting in the door. Cool. S. Wow. Espionage, apparently. S P oh gosh, I don't know why it's so hard for me to type. Uh, what channel is Smart Audio on a Crossfire receiver? 
Uh, what? Oh, yeah, you can do that thing. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure Joshua has a video on how to do that crazy smart audio uh, stuff. I haven't done that yet, though. I haven't linked because I don't run um, TBS VTXs. But Joshua's got you covered, I'm sure, uh, on how to get your your super duper TBS interlinking going. All right, guys. First spin is for the glide frame. Second spin is for the $50 get FPV gift card. Uh, all right. Let's apply some wheel changes. Make sure the wheel is big. Make sure it's going to spin for an extra long eight seconds. Ooh, look at that. Oh boy. You guys are animals. Are you ready? Are you ready? I hope you're ready. Who's it going to be? I'm going to guess that it's going to be Daniel Sarmiento. It's coming around. It's coming around. Oh, it's Daniel Sarmiento. Daniel Sarmiento, fun fact, your last name, my my wife loves your last name. She said you've got the best last name out of all the Ciotti FPV is in, or whatever we're going to call ourselves. Congratulations, Daniel Sarmiento. You get a glide frame. You entered twice. So the that's cool. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Daniel Sarmiento, um, you got to message me on Facebook or Instagram with your name, address, and that you won the glide frame um, uh, because I think you're on Patreon, but when we do the Super Chat giveaways, it's important for you guys to message me because um, it's hard for me to find you otherwise. So yeah, shoot me a message, give me your info. Uh, oh, the sticker, right. Sorry, yeah, Boyd. The, the, the important stuff. We got we got to get to the important stuff. What sticker is he going to get? Okay. So, let's where'd they go? <laughs> All right. You guys are the best. All right, let's see. We're going random. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that little bastard. Oh, look at his little face. Oh. I'm going to watch Mandalorian again. It is a, if if you guys haven't seen it yet, Shut this off and go right now. It's it's that good. It's real good. They they did an incredible job. Um, although for the record, everything that um, everything that uh, John Favreau touches turns to gold. So I guess it's not super surprising that it's amazing. Next up is going to be a virtual gift and a sticker. We'll pick the sticker first to get you guys all psyched up. Wait, no, I got to write this down. Um, Daniel Sarmiento is Glide winner. Cool. Now I can respin the wheel uh, without losing the winner. Next winner is going to get ooh, another good one. Another good one. Look at that. Look at that. So this little baby Yoda is going to come with a coupon code for GetFPV to get you 50 bucks worth of stuff. That's pretty cool. Let me get myself focused again. Let me put this right here so I remember it. Move that over there. Take a drink of water. Make you guys wait for it. You gotta, gotta build the, gotta build the suspense. I'm told. Ah. Uh, all right. All right. You guys ready? Let's do it now. Let's do it. Last giveaway of the night. Huge thanks to GetFPV. Oh, here we go. Let's do this again. Shout out to GetFPV. Those guys are awesome. Best customer service I've, I've experienced out of any of the U.S. shops. Show them some love. There's, oh God, I almost forgot to mention. Down here in the description is a link, a bit.ly link to GetFPV. Do me a favor, guys, and hit that link. Um, that drives to their website. They want to get an idea of how many people are actually hanging out here. Um, so if you got to go to get FPV, I have an awesome little link that shows them how much traffic we're actually generating. If we can generate enough traffic, I know I try to talk about get FPV a lot because I do truly love them. Um, yeah, <laughs> Zeus wishes they would send his crossfire Zeus message them. They will get back to you. Their customer service guys are amazing. Um, so yeah, give them some love, hit the link down here if you guys don't mind.
uh, the bit.ly link. I think it's like the second link in the description. And yeah, maybe they'll do even more for us. So 50 bucks and a sticker. Let's do it. It's looking like Daniel Maurer. Ooh! Rimmy Tim spending the money, getting the payoff, $50. Rimmy, Rimmy Tim spent 25 bucks and he made 50 bucks. That's a pretty damn good deal. Good on you, Daniel. Thanks for being a moderator. Thanks for being a cool dude. Thanks for flying with me when I came to Asheville. That's awesome. That is well-deserved. Daniel, um, I'm sure I don't have your address. Let's talk. Uh, I don't know how to... I'm going to wait for you to win something else. I'm going to hold this hostage until you win something else, Daniel, because the it, the gift card is like a coupon code. So um, I'll give you the coupon code. I'll put this guy aside. Actually, you know what? Since, since you're my boy and you're a mod and you're a giving person... I will take a picture of a bunch of these and you can pick. How about that shit? Let's talk on Facebook. Congratulations. That's awesome. Well deserved. It's 11.55. We got a little bit more time. I've missed a ton of questions. Blast FPV. Uh, go to Etsy. Type in Baby Yoda. These were in a 50 pack. It's like $4. It's like unbelievably cheap. Um, yeah. Etsy. Baby Yoda stickers. 50 pack. Get you some stickies. Uh, all right. What else did I say I was going to do on tonight's stream? <laughs> uh, did we get through our things? Weekly giveaways. We did those. Q&A. Three-inch frame news. Ooh, I got some three-inch frame news for you guys. And raw Charlotte rips, which I will end the stream with just like I did last night. Uh, all right. Let's get... OBS back up because I don't know what screen it's on. There it is. Uh, three inch frame news. So last night, uh, I didn't think, well, yesterday, I didn't think I was going to have, uh, uh, Brad and I couldn't get a hold of um, our buddy Rob, who's our engineer, who's been working in carbon fiber for a long, long time. Uh, he, he was super busy with life, as sometimes happens. And uh, I, I, I immediately went to the most negative, horrible place, of course. Uh, Nick asked, it's going to be sold on my Patreon. Patreon allows you to set, like, items for sale. Um, and I have absolutely no... I, I'm not dealing with a reseller unless I have to. Um, and I'm not going to make a website. I'm not going to deal with any of that nonsense. I'm trying to drive as many people to Patreon as possible because it is a really handy spot for me to dump all the stuff that I research and find and on the internet and, and write and just all that stuff. So I'm going to do it as much as I can through Patreon. Plus I have kind of fallen in love with Patreon. If I'm honest with you guys, uh, I am following more and, and, and contributing to more and more people on there. I just love the, the idea of supporting other people. Um, I spend a lot of money on just shit that's fun and sits here, but like spending money on other people is a very unique, very, special thing um and i'm really for it so yeah get get on patreon guys find some people there are awesome people out there um off the top of my head joshua bardwell little stellar fox um bot grinders on there um i'm missing a lot of people but a lot of good folks on patreon almost all of them have a one dollar two dollar three dollar tier get in there you get updates you get behind the scenes stuff it is well worth it and it means a lot to those people um myself included so thank you guys as always you all rule let's talk about this three inch frame i'm gonna give you guys a tiny little really quick uh sneak peek i'm gonna do it small because i don't want to give away any of the secrets but it's gonna be cool it's gonna be cool so this morning um, when Brad and I talked, as we talk every day, pretty much, uh, he mentioned that he did, he was able to get in touch with Rob this morning and Rob is such a ninja that he was able to bang out like the initial, uh, super quick rough draft of what the frame is going to look like. And I'm going to try to pull it up real quick here and just flash it on the screen for you guys to see as small as I can, because I do want it to be somewhat of a surprise. Here it is. I got it on the screen. I'm going to hit the button really quick. Nobody screen cap it. Here we go. 
Oh, there it was. That's all you get. <laughs> oh, there it is again. So that's that's version point zero 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 one. A um, lot of work to be done. This is just like a, a, a super basic starting place, um, just to kind of get an idea of where we want the geometry. It's going to get modified quite a bit from here. And once we get start getting some of those modifications done, I am going to put it up on the Patreon page to give those folks a sneak peek. Um, I want to generate thoughts and questions and, and just as much feedback as we can. Uh, the basic premise behind it is that it's going to be a three inch alien style frame. Five inch, fr the majority of five inch frames are set up like an alien, right? We know this center canopy area, squished X, uh, sometimes true X, uh, n more, I'm not necessarily a fan of vertical carbon. So this is going to be just standoffs. Uh, for simplicity and for buildability, um, it's twelve o'clock. My computer says. Uh, when I say buildability, not that that's a word or anything. Um, basically, I want to give you guys as many options as possible. There are going to be three like recommended build setups for this. Um, Twenty. They're going to be based around the camera that you're running. So the tallest is going to be this setup here because the run cam hybrid is gigantic. It's 24 millimeters tall. So you actually have to run a 28 millimeter standoff to clear this camera. 28 millimeter standoffs would put the CG up way too high on a solid base plate frame or on a regular alien frame with the arms below the base plate. But we're gonna design our frame with an X plate that's strong enough for you to run the arms above the base plate. And when you do that, it raises your CG up by at least three millimeters because that's the thickness of the arm. So this is going to be the tallest setup. Uh, not, it's actually not going to be the tallest setup. Um, this is going to be the run cam hybrid setup. It's arms above the base plate, 28 millimeter standoffs. The prop line is, is the equivalent of if you were to run 25 millimeter standoffs, which is the proper, which is the correct prop line in my testing um, for a really good 200 gram three inch rig. So that's gonna be the run cam hybrid setup. The uh, Tarsier setup, you could technically do like this, but uh, personally, I'm gonna run it with the arms below the base plate and with 25 millimeter standoffs, I try to run the lowest standoffs possible because when you take a big hit on the battery, the standoffs are a lever and the longer the lever is, the more torque it's gonna to put on the bottom screws and the base plate. So my preferred setup for the Tarsier is gonna be 25 millimeter standoffs, arms below the base plate, which is kind of the standard way um, to do a removable arm uh, alien frame. So that'll be the middle sort of setup. And then if you don't want HD, you'll be able to run any old micro FPV cam in this on 20 millimeter standoffs. That's the like full blown performance, you know, hell you could race with it setup. Uh, no HD cam, standard FPV. VTX and receiver are gonna be in the back here. Um, the reason why I'm going with this standard kind of alien setup is because it just packages everything the best way that I've found. And it's what the industry and, and has decided is kind of the best setup. So yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of different setups for it. It's gonna be gnarly. It's gonna be the three inch frame to end all. And uh, it'll take the world by storm and we'll all be millionaires. I'll share with my millions with everybody. And no, I won't. I'll be a selfish bastard and run away and live in Cabo. <laughs> Explosive Fruits just says he got a Speedix 35 amp and a Rush Tank Tiny. Super excited to see the new weight of the duo. You and me both. Uh, I, could, I could actually get you the weight on the duo. Uh, if you bug me, Explosive Fruits, on Patreon, I'll get you a, a duo weight. Um, because I do now have everything that I need so I can get you a wait. Um, just message me. Well, fuck it. Let's do it now. It's midnight. Let's just do it. Uh, so in the duo right now is a um, Akon AK32 20 by 20 ESC, which is hugely overkill. Um, but it's what I have at the moment. And I need this thing to be able to go up to 6S because of the lower KV on these motors. Um, so this is a heavy ESC. Um, but it's a light flight controller. I think it's a Talon F7. Yeah, sure, why not? It's red. Talon F7, single board, run cam hybrid setup. Uh, I'm missing the Rush Tiny Tank. So let's put that in there. 
Not that it weighs anything. Okay, so we got the tiny tank. Uh, I'm going to run this antenna. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. I'm going to run this antenna, which is a uh, true RC singularity. So we'll put that in there. Uh, what else do I need? I need a receiver. And this rig I am going to put on a Crossfire Nano. So I should have one of those. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Crossfire Nano coming at you, even the silly little antenna. All right. Getting that up in there, get that balanced. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, what else makes a quad go? Video into the flight controller, to the VTX, receiver for the link, ESC, motors. Uh, motor wires are full length, so that's good. And I'm gonna throw a set of props in there. And those are gonna be, we'll go Avan three inch. Oh yeah, the battery. Well, the my battery selection is gonna be very odd because I'm going 6S. So um, we'll do a dry weight and then, you know, whatever battery you guys want to run, you can. Why am I not just putting these on the motors? This is insane. All right. Oh, no. Come on. Balance. Okay. Shh. Shh. Ah, it fell. Okay. We're there. We're there. The only thing missing is prop nuts. So we're going to say like, uh, I don't know, four grams for prop nuts maybe. 161.7. Call it 160. Uh, add five. Call it 165 with prop nuts. Uh, and then the batteries that I've got are put away. But the 6S batteries that I'm going to run are a little shy of 100 grams. So that's pretty gnarly. This is going to be right at 250. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm going to try to shed... I think it's going to be a little north of 260, uh, of 250. So... I'm gonna see where I can shed. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna get this to 250. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get this to 250 come hell or high water. That is really cool. I didn't think it would be that light. I, I said a couple streams ago that I was gonna get it to 250, but I was kind of doing it tongue in cheek. Uh, that's pretty cool that I'll actually be able to do that. Gnarly, okay. So there it is. I'll do a rando stream with some building and uh, first it'll be the V1 that I need to swap the ESC on, uh, and then after that's done, I will either build the Duo or the old uh, CB3. Probably the Duo though, I wanna get this thing going. I have batteries for it, I'm like ready to go. Um, damn dude, 250 with, a, with 1505 motors on 6S? Ooh, that's gonna be stanky. Oh wait, I gotta put these props back in the... Uh... <laughs> Somebody was about to get just two props with their, uh... <laughs> with their winnings. All right, cool. Did we, uh, is that everything? I think we got everything, right? That's, uh... we talked about the frame. We talked about some other things. I missed a million questions. Uh, Explosive Fruits says, should I have gone with the AK32 25 amp um, nah, Speedix is good, Explosive Fruits. I've had really good luck with Speedix. Um, I was going to do the Speedix. Uh, if, if, if I didn't have this uh, ESC, I was going to do the Speedix IS-40 because it's the cheapest, smallest, lightest 6S ESC that I could find. Um, yeah, I, I've had great luck with Speedix on their 20x20 ESCs. Uh, I've not run any of their 30x30s, but I'm sure they're great as well. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave you guys with some flying because I don't see a ton of extra questions and it's after midnight, so I got to go chill to try to just zen out a little bit so I can actually go to sleep. See, you guys are going hard on Seattizens. I have trouble saying that, but again, it's going to be your guys' decision when I make the, the thing, so in the place and... Uh, Explosive Fruit says, tell me your tricks because I'm inclined to get mine to 250 as well. No tricks. Um, the, the, just, yeah, just mirror my build and, and you'll be there, man. 
Uh, okay, let me get some of this Charlotte shredded. Yeah, you know what? No, I'm gonna give you guys some. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit from yesterday at this spot, really local spot. Uh, I was flying HQ 4.3 pitch. The the blade profile looks like it's a 50 pitch. These are stupidly pitchy props. Um, but as an experiment, I flew them at a really small, tight, technical spot. And I know I talk a lot about um, throttle resolution and how you want to go with low pitch. So I kind of did this to accentuate that. Uh, if you'll be able to tell or not, I don't know. I forgot to copy it to the hard drive, so it's copying now. So now I have to just stall and just say... Rando words. Uh, Fung Ho asks, 6S850? No, 6S550, um, which is a GNB. 6S650, which is a tattoo R-line. Both of those weigh the same. R-lines are very lightweight. And then um, Heli Direct or Heli Nation makes a 6S450. Next time I do an order with them, I'm going to order... Uh, a couple of them because they're even lighter. Those are the batteries that I think will put this thing right at 250. Uh, unless it gains weight from hardware and stuff. But I think with that Talon 456S um, that I'll be at 250. And if I can do that, that'll be pretty cool. That, um, yeah, that might blow up. I will clickbait the shit out of an edit, out of all the edits with that. Uh, 250 gram all day. 6S. Quad to end all quads. Less than a minute on this thing copying here. You guys are awesome. Thanks for coming by. Um, what a super chat. Jesus, you guys are gnarly, man. It, it, it's I know I've said it a million times, but it means a ton to me. It's so cool that you guys are hanging out. Uh, newbie drone brushed B-Brain able to run D16 or just D8. I do not know off access, but... What I do know is that the newbie drone um, customer service folks are awesome. Uh, I'm for, the, for since you guys hung till the very end. Uh, I'm talking newbie drone. Might be something cool happening. I got a little in over there, so we'll uh, we'll see. That should be cool. All right. So here comes uh, me flying at Alpharetta High School. I've been trying to fly this spot for the entire time, like six months that I've been living here, and I haven't been able to. It was finally empty yesterday, so I went and flew it with the wrong props. Um, but you guys will see that you can make them work. But you'll also see what I mean. I think of like a lack of throttle resolution. Look for me to bounce. Like when I slam down low to the ground, uh, come down from dives, you'll see me bouncing. That's a lack of um, throttle resolution in the middle to low throttle. So you guys will be able to see that, but you'll also be able to see that it's it's totally flyable with these props. Um, here you go. Let me get this going. It'll probably be a little choppy. Uh, how can I combat that? Let me close everything down. <laughs> Since it's playing the raw file, it's it's 2.7K, which my computer doesn't love. Uh, so I'm going to give it the best chance I can. Let me fast forward a little bit. And all right. Again, thanks for hanging out, guys. You're all awesome. Get your asses out there and fly. Uh, fly fast. Take chances. Here's some raw footage. I will see you guys on the rando stream. We will give away another GetFPV $50 gift card and take over the world! Later, guys. Enjoy. Here we go. Play. And where's OBS? Oh, I lost OBS. Here it is. All right. Here you guys go. Actually, you know what? I can just talk you guys through this. This will be fun. I, I've been meaning to do this. Well, shit. I'm going to talk you guys through it for a second. Um... So yeah, I haven't flown this spot before. This is a glide on 6S, 1600 KV motors, uh, crazy banana pants pitch props. I love this spot. I, I have to figure out when there aren't people at this spot so I can fly again. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to make that. <laughs> All right. I'm looking for an example of the lack of resolution. And then I'm actually just going to give it to you guys uh, with the full audio for a little bit. Ooh. 
<laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, and I could hear that they were kind of hurting, so I wanted to bring it back and straighten them out. All right, let me fast forward past that. Okay, I'm going to give you guys full audio. I'm going to kill my mic. And when this thing runs out, I will end the stream. Actually, when I crash next time, I'll end the stream. All right, here you guys go. Be good.